what is up guys welcome to another video uh, today we're gonna be working on the beast betsy got some parts under here but i do need one more part oh, i just washed my hands so i should probably put on the glove but as you can see i gotta change my tie rod my outer and inner tie rod because of that right there well this is moving i don't know if you can see me move it but it shouldn't be oh yeah there you go I need that piece, that's moving, that's moving. So I got this long piece in there, I got this outer and that outer, but I need to go this one. So we're gonna run to the parts store real quick and we'll be right back. Drive Darla today since the beast is down. It's been nice driving her around. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Finally, the part that I got that I needed isn't gonna be here until Tuesday. See you guys in a couple days and then we'll get right back on it. It's been a couple days. We're back. I got some jack stands now. Got this jacks, jack hydraulic jack. I didn't even talk for a second. And then I got all the parts right in here. So we'll start off by um, loosening the lug nuts off the wheels. Take them off, jack or jacking them up, taking them off, put the jack stands under. And then it seems pretty simple. I've watched a couple YouTube videos, never done it. I mean, it seems like it's just a couple bolts and bolts back in. I know you have the videos I've watched, you count the threads because you have to get an alignment right after you change this out. So I know you count the threads right after, but everything is going to be new installed except for that piece on the bottom. I have no idea what it's called. So obviously it's part of the steering, but the whole tie rod's going to be changed. The ball joints seem okay for now. So we don't have to worry about that at the moment, but we can go ahead and start right now. Tires are loosened. Um, should be able to just jack it up now. I got two three-ton jack stands. I have a pair of these ones, but I couldn't find the other one, but this one's a three-ton as well. I don't know, it looks beat up, but it should be okay. But I'm using two extra ones just for safe precautionary. I'm gonna have that under as well, not fully jacked, but a little bit, and then I'm throw those under. I just like to be extra safe, so. I'm right, sure I'll so be the fine. car's all jacked under. It just rained here, so. Got some bricks and it helps out with the height. Barely got enough clearance to take off the wheels and obviously a little support from here. But now I gotta take off the wheels, throw them under, and we can go ahead and get started. Well, I got a new tool set. I got it at work. I want it as a prize for Christmas, I think, or January or something. But we can finally break this baby open. I got the cover. Pretty nice. Let's see what it looks like under here. Wow. Very shiny. This is my most expensive tool set. I started off with a little $20 kit. Now I'm gonna work my way up to here. So we can finally get going. We're gonna take off this one first. Oh. Oh, okay. So that one right there is super tight. So I had to improvise and grab the hydro jack and get some leverage, but it should be good now. Okay, can I lose that bolt? Right here, right there. We're gonna take that one. I can see that one loosen up right now. And then that, oh, we have to unscrew that one too. And that should be the top piece. And then we can work our way on the bottom piece. So I just watched a YouTube video and mainly since I'm replacing everything, um, I can just knock the shit out of this loose. I just have to knock everything loose. The only part that I will be reusing is that connector piece and that bottom connector piece and obviously that steering part. But everything else is getting replaced so I just got to break it until it comes apart. Okay. So while I was hammering, I got this one out. I've knocked them all out. Like this one, I kept the bolt on, but that one, oh, I guess it's off now. So this is the only one I need to take off, but this is loose. I just have that on there, so it hook. Hold on. The only one that's giving me trouble is that one up here. Let me see if you get a better angle on it. This one right here is killing me. I cannot knock this one up to save my life. I just 
since I'm laying down trying to hit it out, I don't, since I've tried hitting this piece, hitting this piece, I've just tried hitting that whole thing. So hopefully I can get it taken care of and we can start installing it. It's been like about a week. <laughs> I had my brother in tell me, cause after, I don't remember I left off, but I couldn't get the final piece off of that bar for right here. And we WD-40 did it from some tips from his poppy. And we hit it with some vengeance. Well, he did, he did. <laughs> Our crap, beep that, and uh, now we can put everything back together. Bolts off right here, count the threads on that, the numbers are right there, and then kind of figure out which one is which for that. And then we can put it back on the truck. So I got this part out, I counted the threads like I said, but you can tell, but that's okay. So this one's the same one, you can tell these, basically this moves, and it's not supposed to move, obviously it's not fine, but it's not going anywhere so i gotta put that one in there and take that piece off and then sorry i didn't do too much recording but we're having trouble getting the new piece on so we got one of the pieces on and i don't know how i didn't tighten it super tight tighten it pretty tight but i just have the big old tires when they do my alignment check it out i guess see if they can but everything's good on that end this piece we didn't put on the other one because this adjusting sleeve is what it's called what i looked up online we got one piece off, but we have no way to get, cause the other one just hand tightened right off. And this one is not hand tightened at all. It's freaking stuck on there. So I'm just gonna go to AutoZone tomorrow, get a new one of those and then finish it up tomorrow. So this is like a week worth long video, but it's only like one day for you or a couple minutes for you guys. So pretty easy. Just put on that last piece and then the wheels back slap back on and then should be good. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. That's like a lot of times on this video, but all right, so got went to AutoZone, got the adjusting sleeve compared to the one we couldn't get off. This is from, I think there's three parts of this video. The first part, and then when my buddy came, Jaren, now this is the third part of the video, even not the same video. So I got that because we couldn't get it off yesterday, the day before, so I don't even remember. And now we can just finish everything and put it on, and then we'll see you at my house. Sleeve, the parts are in the truck. Yeah, it's still how it is. Clean it up a little bit so it doesn't look so crazy getting super frustrated because this was rotated the other way like reverse that way so you have to have it the right way because this wasn't going in and this wasn't going in i couldn't figure out why and i don't know why i decided to flip it but i did and works out good so i can put it under the truck oh, so i forgot to film this part everything is on new tie rod looks amazing look at that except that adjuster piece right there it's old obviously but oh i was putting that tire back on i was like oh yeah i'm making a youtube video so it's funny because it's like basically straight, but my steering wheel is not straight, so I gotta go get an alignment. I'd be getting that and this tire. So I know this tire is really bald on this side. It's ate up because it needs alignment. But I got those two tires. Got these two tires right here. One of them has a flat. I'm gonna see if I get repaired. One of them's good because the back one went flat and I got a new tire. And those back, those back two tires are brand new. These ones are older, so I'm gonna see if I can get, if it's repairable, put them both on the front. If not, I just put one of the good one on the right side because that one is a lot more damaged compared to this one. This one's like kind of, but still has more tread than definitely that one. So we'll go ahead and get the wheels on and we can finish up the video. So I'm happy to say everything is back on. Probably go for a test drive in a second. I'm not sure yet. Oh. So, oh, look how brand new and nice that looks. Beautiful, I'm excited. Got some stuff done on the truck today, well, over the past couple of days. So, hopefully we can get more stuff going on. Um, yeah, I got that all taken care of. Like I said, I gotta put, see if the tires go on there, but dang. And then we gotta fix that problem back there, start on that motor. We have stuff to do, I just don't have time or money, one or the other sometimes. So we'll see how it goes. So if you like, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time.